Welcome to Love Uninterrupted. This is your 888 message. This is for a Scorpio, Sun, Virgo, Moon. All right, so the message is to be kind to yourself, right? Um, you may be a bit hard on yourself. Um, I'm getting, um, you may have like an inner critic that is a bit strict with yourself and therefore strict with other people. And this, this inner critic may be strict or may have been strict in order to assist you. It may have served you in, in, in the past. It's like helping you get, get to get the things that you want, get to where you want to go. But now you're being challenged to, your challenge is to be disciplined, um, to be disciplined in, in terms of like, okay, although you need, you there's something that needs to be done or there's something that you're going for, some goal that you're attaining, the challenge for you now is to still go for that without, um, or by allowing yourself to still to 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 <laughs> I can't get my words allowing yourself to be joyful right feeling good about what you're doing so releasing the need to like be so harsh be so strict be so staunch and really to start enjoying it like find the joy in whatever it is that you're doing and that's that that's what I'm getting excuse me that's what I'm getting here um also I'm also seeing that you're being led to like really shine right now, like to show your light, literally. Do not dim yourself at this moment. This is not the time to, to dim yourself, to uh, shrink yourself down, to be less than what you are. Even if you find yourself like questioning whether you should show up the way that you are, or whether not necessarily whether you should show up the way that you are, but even if you find yourself questioning whether um, you're truly who you are, this message is like this is a new day. You are you're no longer in the space where you're having to dim yourself. You're no longer in the space where you have to uh, shrink yourself down. Now is the time for you to be proud of who you are. You need to utilize that self confidence. Right, it has helped you get to where you are right now, and it will continue to help you to move along and 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 get the things that you desire and achieve the goals and the aspirations that you have. But do it with joy, versus sucking all the life out of it with your strictness or your staunchness or your you know you know. So it must be this way. Um, so yeah, now's the time for you to shine for sh show your light is what I'm saying. Also leave the past behind, which is again, that's, you know, those are the original messages. The person that you used to be like, you are literally moving into a new phase, right? That is happening. Again, this is the eight, eight message. And if you know, this portal, um, according to everyone who is, um, uh, reading the energy, um, and previous portals, 8A portals, we have um, experienced this before, but um, this one is particularly uh, more powerful because it is 888, right? This year is 8. So these numbers are um, amplified or this energy is amplified. So you are moving into a new cycle. So who you have been, how you have operated, the way that you have moved in the world, you're being advised to leave that behind. Leave the past behind you. It isn't going to serve you anymore. In fact, what I feel is that it's actually going to hinder you. It's going to slow you down if you are holding on to who you used to be and the things that you used to do because it won't that energy will not really be supported in this new energy in this new cycle that you're in so leave those past leave the past behind right so plus in addition in addition to that 
well, really not in addition to that. It's really just, again, reiterating that holding on to your past, who you were in the past, your past habits, patterns, these things are now standing or will stand in the way of what you want and how you can get it, right? The way that you have operated in the past is not going to be as beneficial. I'm not going to say that it's not beneficial at all, but it's not going to be as beneficial. It won't serve you as well in the new energy that you're going into. Because not only are you changing in this 8-8 portal, no, not only are you experiencing a shift, the entire collective is experiencing a shift, whether they are conscious of it or not. And so the environment that you're in is also shifting. So to, to remain in your old energy, to hold on to past thought patterns, um, habits, behaviors, will or has the potential. I won't say that it absolutely will, but it definitely has the potential of slowing you down so be strategic about be mindful and be strategic about how you're moving in your life going forward right take stock also of where you are right pay attention to what is happening in your environment if <clears throat> Excuse me, if you have been um, worrying about something, ruminating on something, um, don't, right? Let that go. Do not waste another moment on worrying because worrying does nothing. It does not help and it does not bring what you are wanting about. In fact, it likely solidifies the very thing that you are worried about. Because where your attention goes is where energy flows. So um, take, a, take, take stock. Like what I'm getting is like take a moment to assess what is happening to your life. Literally, like what's going on in your life, the things that are happening in your life experience right now. And then also metaphorically. Because all of these things are informing you. They're all guiding you. They're all giving you some information that is beneficial to you, beneficial to your everyday life, and also beneficial to your growth and your evolution. So be kind to yourself. Release that staunch way. Um, you could still um, implement discipline, and I would suggest doing that. But the discipline that you're implementing is a discipline in finding joy and being joyful, right? When you find yourself, you know, sort of um, focused so intently on the things that you want to accomplish, and you're very rigid in that. Take a moment or let that let that be the moment that you are disciplined in your joy. Let that be the moment where you're disciplined in your kindness to yourself and your grace to yourself. Okay. So let's get one final message for you. I'm feeling um, for you to grab a message from this sacred wealth deck. Let's see what... Um, all right, so you, I'm showing, is a great nurturer. That is so ironic, considering that we just talked about being kind to yourself. It says, I give and receive nourishment. And this, this message relates to the moon. It's connected to the moon. So I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to read this really quickly if I can the nurturer if I may find it okay the great nurturer so um the mantra is I give and receive nourishment all right so the great nurturer is a mother teacher humanitarian supporter coordinator gardener problem solver counselor caregiver and healer 
When you embody this archetype, you are deeply in touch with the life pulse of humanity and the planet. And you are a conduit for unconditional love, patience, and caring. As a nurturer, you are a creatrix. A feminine creator like Mother Nature herself. What you touch and pour your love into grows vibrant and strong. You tend to the gardens of life. So whether you are identify as masculine or feminine, this archetype, this energy is what is connecting with you at this time. And um, again, this is a message that or this is yeah, this is an energy that is connected to the moon, which is also um, feminine. So giving your nurturing yourself that's what i'm getting like this is a message where you are needing to nurture yourself and this is going to relate to anything that you are wanting to accomplish anything that you are wanting to bring forward any sort of prosperity or wealth that you are wanting to bring forth into your life this nurturer this nurturer energy this um um tapping into your kindness and your grace for yourself this is going to assist you at this time okay all right, so that is your message. If this message resonated with you, I invite you to leave a comment in the comment section and also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you would like to work with me directly, you can select the first link in the description. It will allow you to schedule a session with me. If you are still uh, listening to this message and you've reached this portion, listen to my voice and you've reached this portion of the message, you are extremely unique because I am a reflection of you. So count yourself as a cool ass person because you found your way and or were guided right here to my spot. And I really am thankful that you're here. With that said, I hope to talk to you next time. Peace.